Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be doing my, I was gonna say September, we are way past September, November TBR, which is horrifying, but what can you do about it? Also, I realized I wear this way too much. Like, I feel like every single video I'm wearing this and on the one hand, should I do that? No. On the other hand, is it very comfortable? Yes. Last month was Becca Spookopolathon, so I did not play my own game. I played Spookopoly, obviously. But this month, we're back with a vengeance. And I can say that I successfully completed all of my Spookopolathon prompts. So no punishments or anything like that. So I suppose let's just get into it. Okay, so it's Spookopolathon over. Let's see how many spins we have to do on this. Also, please ignore the board. I know I need to make a new one. It is literally falling apart. <laughs> okay, seriously, I kind of want to spin again. But also, like, if I spin again, I'm not going to land on a 10. I don't want to do just one. Okay, I'm going to do one spin, officially. But then I might just do a couple more, because I want to. But if I don't do them, then it's fine. Okay. <laughs> Three. So... One, two, three. Set in a fictional world. So the first and only prompt that I actually have to do is set in a fictional world. And at first I was like, this is so easy. I mean, I read mostly fantasy, grand. Like, the t like two that like first came to my mind because I had like a video idea I wanted to do. I was like, oh, those two? I'll do one of those. And then I was like, wait, no. Those are like the two books that are on my TBR that are uh, set on Earth. I may regret this because it is humongous. And I do have stuff going on in November. Like I have a lot of weekends where I'm doing stuff. So I'm not sure how much reading time I'm gonna have. And I might regret this, but it's Rise of Empire by Michael J. Sullivan. This is the second book in the Raya area, Revelations. I don't actually know how to pronounce it. Um, this is about 780 pages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like technically two books. <laughs> and I was like really pleasantly surprised by how much I enjoyed the first book. Like it wasn't a new favorite or anything, but I read, I think it's Age of Myth, which is like a prequel series. And honestly, it did nothing for me. I immediately forgot it. I found it quite boring, if I'm being 100% honest. Like the world, nothing interested me. I already had the first book in this series on my physical TBR and I was like, well, I have to give it a go anyway. And I read it and I, as I said, I was really pleasantly surprised. It's not like a new favorite or anything, but there was something just really addicting about like the writing and the plot. Like I was just really drawn into the story. And so I, picked up the second one when I had the option to. And like, it is Bible paper. Like, look, look how thin that paper is. Um, yeah, so 780 pages. Uh, so as I said, might regret that, but, but oh well, it is the only book I have to read though. Everything else I don't have to, because as I said, I wasn't just gonna do one spin, that is so boring. So I'm gonna do like maybe two or three extra ones just to like make it interesting, but officially, this is where I've stopped. So I'll reset it to here next month, but I just want to do like one or two more, okay? Eight. Okay, so we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a mood read. And so then mood read, mood read is I just mood read. It's very simple. I have a couple of like ideas in mind of books that I want to read for videos and all of that and so basically I'll pick something for that I'm probably leaning towards the Goodreads should be coming out sometime in November and I'm hopefully gonna read all of those so I'll probably use one of those for this prompt if I'm being 100% honest but also that is definitely not the spirit of a mood read a mood read is just pick something up that second because you want to read it so maybe I will actually read something in the spirit of it but probably not let's be honest and I'll also go a seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a seven. Mm. Seven. So then we have five star prediction. And I'm in desperate need of five stars. I think I have five five stars this year, which is real bad. Usually I have ten at least by the end of the year. And I don't think that's going to happen this year, which is at first for me. And honestly, my four stars also not that great. 
my three stars. Also not great. In fairness, I haven't had any one stars this year. So that's nice. But I am in desperate need of a five star. And looking at my shelves, thinking about wash, because I, I even like anticipated releases and stuff like that, like none of them have really been doing it for me. A lot of the five stars I've actually had have been surprises. Like books I wouldn't have thought I was going to give five stars, like Sword Heart, Happy Place, uh, None of the Ninth. There is only one book on my shelves that I am confident is a five star. Well, there's two, but I have to read one to read the other. So, and you're going to look at this and you're going to say, we've seen this before, Rebecca, and you never do it. But this month, it's going to happen. And so my five star prediction, it's Fool's Quest by Robin Hobb. It's been a whole saga with me not finishing the series. So let me recap. It is March 2020, which we all know that was a time. I am reading Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb for the Catch Up Book Club. And I'm reading away. I'm not really into it that much. Girl had no idea what was coming. But for the first time ever, she decided to try an audiobook. So she got a 60 day free trial of Scribd and she saw that the audiobook for Assassin's Apprentice and so she put it on and she was re so she was reading it physically and listening to it and all of a sudden she loved that book and so she continued I don't know why I'm talking about myself in the third person in 2022 I had the slump did not read for months I'm pretty sure I mean, you know I did but I read like one bu book a month and I was not enjoying it <laughs> uh it was not a good time and so I never read this when I was supposed to along with the catch-up book club and then I was like, it's fine, I'll get over the slump and then I will just like binge the last two before the final live show. That also did not happen because I was still in the slump. <laughs> and after the catch-up book club finished reading them, I kind of just lost the motivation to read them, despite the fact I love the series. Finally, at some point last year, I was like, okay, it's time for me to finally finish this series. I know it will break my heart, but it's, it's got to happen eventually. And so I go on script because I have read and listened to every single book. The audiobook is not there. It is saying unavailable. I check my library. My library only has the ebooks. That's no good to me. I go on Audible. At this point, I didn't even have an Audible account, but I was going to make one just so I could read Fool's Quest. They also do not have the audiobook. They, they have the audiobook for the last one. They don't have the audiobook for this one. I feel like I'm losing the plot. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Why does nobody have the audiobook for this? Last month, I go on my library app and I'm just browsing. I go onto the fantasy audiobooks because every so often I like to see if they've added anything new. And what do I see before me? But Fool's Quest, part one and part two. And I know that it's time. It's time for me to finish this, guys. And then one more for the fun of it. Another seven, jeez. So, oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, and as I said, we're setting it back to there for the start of next month. Okay, so this final prompt is just, I use a random number generator to choose a book off of my physical TBR. So, which is helpful because I am obviously trying to get that number down. Technically, I have 30. Well, I'm currently in the middle of one, so 29. But I do have a good few sequels, so I count it and I believe it is 23 if I'm not including like third books that I'm obviously not going to read. So, I believe it's 23. So, we're going to just click on it three times. One, two, three. Five. Well, one, two, three. I'm avoiding all of these because of the catch-up book club. I didn't count them. Four. I haven't read Fool's Quest yet. Five. So that is The City We Became by N.K. Jemison. So The City We Became by N.K. Jemison is a love letter to New York, I believe. So I am slowly making my way through N.K. Jemison's entire backlist. And so I think, is it like six? The six boroughs are all like personified and I think they have to like band together against some sort of war, what this war is against, I don't know. 
definitely haven't heard as many good things about this as I have some of her other works. And also, like, I've never even been to New York, so maybe this won't be, like, for me. But I'm excited. So, yeah. So, yes. So, these are the three books that are on my TBR. This is the only one that I actually have to read. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, subscribe. And we'll see you all in the next one. Bye.